Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Zahar Hussain and I'm here with Anham. Uh, we are four the MBBS students from Karachi Medical and Dental College and today we are going to present our research, uh, this research article of therapeutic role of gamma knife stereo uh, stereotactic radio surgery in neuro-oncology. Now before we get into it, we know that there are some first year, second year and third year medical students who will be joining us soon. Uh, we need to first discuss some of the terms that are going to be discussed in this topic. So I would like to ask him to please go to the next slide. All right, thank you, Arham. So let's tackle some tricky words first that are going to be discussed in this research. The first topic is radio surgery. Radio surgery is a non-invasive medical procedure that uses precise high dose radiation beams to treat tumors and other abnormal growths in the body, targeting the affected area with extreme accuracy the damage to the surrounding tissue. Let's first of all discuss that usually in cancer there are three types of treatment that are done. If we broadly define it broadly. One is radiotherapy, second is chemotherapy, and the third is surgery. Usually, they become sub-branches or they become combination of treatment. So what is radio surgery? It seems like like, Two major branches are mixed with radiology and surgery. Well, 
इट मे बी अ मिसनोमर बिकॉज इसके अंदर एक्चुअली सर्जरी नहीं होती इसमें कोई इन्वेसिव प्रोसीजर नहीं कर रहे होते हम लोग इसके अंदर हमें क्या हो रहा है कि हम हाई डोज रेडिएशन बीम्स देते हैं टू डिस्ट्रॉय द ट्यूमर बाइस दिस मिसनोमर बिकॉज सर्जरी काइंड ऑफ वर्ड यूज जब ये टर्म इंट्रोड्यूस की गई थी इन दीन हंड्रेड तो उस वक्त सर्जरी का ये मतलब था कि टू डिस्ट्रॉय और टू रिमूव तो वट दिस रेडियोथेरेपी वॉज डूइंग दिस रेडियो सर्जरी वॉज डूइंग के हाई बीम रेडिएशन के जरिए उन ट्यूमर्स को हटा रही थी तो वहाँ से इसका नाम रेडियो सर्जरी आ गया और 1700 से लेकर अब तक यही टर्मिनोलॉजी यूज हो रही है कि रेडियो सर्जरी बाकी रेडियो सर्जरी इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स उनमें से हम लोग एक डिस्कस करने वाले हैं दी वन इज चेरियो टेक्टिक रेडियो सर्जरी दैट इज एस आर एस वी आर गोइंग टू कम्पेयर दिस विद डब्ल्यू बी आर टी दैट इज होल ब्रेन रेडिएशन थेरेपी ना वट बोर्ड ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर स्टेरियो टेक्टिक रेडियो सर्जरी के अंदर हम लोग वही चीज रेडियो सर्जरी वाली के हाई डोज रेडिएशन बीम्स हम लोग देते हैं टू ट्रीट द ब्रेन ट्यूमर्स एंड टू डिस्ट्रॉय the space of opaing lesions and it is highly targeted and precise matlab brain ke specific area pe ja ke hum usko target kar rahe hain as compared to whole brain radiation therapy isme hum log kya kar rahe hain isme radiation entire brain ko de rahe hote hain aur ye best hota hai un cancers ke liye jo pure brain mein diffuse hote hain ya multiple brain cancers uh, brain tumors hote hain agar koi ek tumor ho to hum log usually uske andar ek hi hum log use kar rahe uh, srs use kar rahe hote hain Now I would like to Arham, Arham to move to the next slide. Thank you, Arham. Uh, when we are using the SRS, that is stereo tactic radio surgery, हम लोग चूंकि एक बहुत precise area पे जाके बहुत high radiation beam दे रहे हैं तो हमारा इरादा होता है कि we do not destroy the normal brain tissue, or we only destroy the tumors. It is so precise कि हम लोग हल्का सा भी आगे भी चेक कर देना है, it can damage the brain. So what we need that the head of the patient is fixed. ये ऐसा ना हो कि ड्यूरिंग ट्रीटमेंट उसके हेड हिलने लग जाए सो दे आर टू प्रोसेस टू फिक्स दी हेड वन इज दिटेक्टिक फ्रेम विच इज ड्रिल्ड इन टू दिस कल सो दी हेड डजेंट मूव एंड दी अदर इज चीरोक्टिक मास्क विच इज नॉन इन्वेसिव पार्ट ऑफ इट आई वुड लाइक अरहम टू मूव दी नेक्स्ट लाइड थैंक यू अरहम ऑल एट दिस लुक्स लाइक वी हैव बिन कॉल्ड लेस बिन कॉल्ड अरहम प्लीज मूव टू नेक्स्ट लाइड Or like Doctor House got a consultation call. We all know who Doctor House is, and he wants you to come with him. Uh, Aram, can you move to the previous slide? The Doctor House one. Thank you. All right. If Doctor House asks you for a consultation call and he looks you like this, then I'm sure none of us would like to. Let's say ignore him or reject his proposal. Then we would like to go with him. So let's see what case are we going to discuss with Doctor House today. Aram, please move to the next slide. Thank you. All right, let's check the patient's profile. The age is forty-five years old, male. He has a history of primary cancer of lung adenocarcinoma. Lung adenocarcinoma is a malignant tumor of the lungs. Malignant is that it's a cancerous tumor of the lungs. He doesn't have any significant comorbidities like he doesn't have hypertension or diabetes, and his KPS is ninety. Now, what is KPS? KPS is actually Karnofsky's Karnofsky's performance status. हम लोग इसको आगे जाके discuss करेंगे कि actually होता क्या है. It's a point-based system कि hundred में से functions के ऊपर. If a person can do all his function without any difficulties, तो हम लोग उसको hundred out of hundred score देते हैं. If it's some or just just say impact for the other's key functions that he may have some trouble doing it there or he may need some assistance doing it, so my assess the score come करते रहते हैं. Right now this patient has a KPS score of ninety. Ninety is a relatively good score. It means that he has having some functional problems. Let's discuss what functional problems this patient is actually having. So the patient is presenting with complaint and symptoms of difficulty in speaking, slurred speech, and difficulty in finding words. He also complains of weakness, clumsiness in his right arm, particularly while performing fine motor tasks such as writing or using utensils. Utensils are spoon, knife, and stuff like that. The symptoms have been progressively worsening over the past two weeks. Now, after Doctor House and his team did some imaging and diagnosis, they came to the conclusion that the MRI of the brain reveals a single brain metastasis located in the left frontal lobe. This is a very important part. Uh, remember this. that it is a single brain metastasis located on the left frontal part of the lobe 
The lesion is situated, uh, situated within the eloquent region involving the Broca's area, which controls the language production and speech. All right, Broca's area is a part of the brain that controls our speech. So we saw in the complaints that he was having difficulties in speaking. So yes, that was because there because the Broca's area was involved. And the tumor size is measured around 2.5 centimeters and is near the uh, central sulcus, which controls the motor movement. And that is why we were seeing that the patient also had symptoms of clumsiness in his right arm, especially while he was performing fine motor tasks. All right, so now Dr. House have asked you to find the treatment. And if you are like me, who is just like surprised we'll get about treatment to near whiskey. But luckily, someone from the team helped you in finding that treatment. Usne aapko options de diye and discussed with option, uh, treatment options ke which treatment option is better and which is not. I would like him to move to the next slide. All right. She gave, uh, the person gave you four treatment options. One is surgery, but there's a risk of complication due to age and medical history. Then there's an option of whole brain radiation surgery, but there's a potential neurocognitive side effects. If you remember, I told you that whole brain radiation therapy is usually used when there are a lot of tumors or a, very, uh, a lot of tumors throughout the brain. We saw in the case that there was only a single tumor. Then this, like, uh, another treatment option she gave you was chemotherapy. But chemotherapy usually has limited effectiveness for solitary brain lesions. Why? Because mainly, of, mainly because of the blood-brain barrier. It separates the blood from the brain, as the name suggests. So... We cannot, we can use chemotherapy, but it has limited effectiveness of reaching towards the brain and do its, and do its desired action. And last option she gave you was stereotactic radio surgery. That is SRS. SRS precise, non-invasive, effective for small lesions. We saw in the previous case that the lesion was of 2.5 centimeters. 2.5 centimeters is a very small lesion. So... What would you suggest after looking at these treatment options and the previous case history? What do you think will be the better option to go with the treatment option? What will you tell Dr. House? All right, this is a potential treatment option. You can comment your answers. Very good, Asma, Madiha, Amaliha, Bajiha, and Sumaya. We will go with stereotactic radio surgery. Why? Because it is ideal for small and solitary lesions. Very good, Safan. All right. Now I'll ask uh, Aram to move to the next slide. All right. So you give your treatment decision to Dr. House that SRS seems like a better option. Why? Because it is non-invasive. Like we are not doing actual surgery. We are not making an incision. And it can preserve the cognitive function because if we are doing a surgery, we have to move some parts of the brain and it can, uh, it can disturb the cognitive functions of the person. So we are doing a non-invasive process it has a better chance of preserving the cognitive functions without affecting the nearby normal brain tissues. It has proven effective tumor control. It has a relatively shorter recovery period. Because why we have just laser the tumor destroyed. As compared to surgery, if we would have done surgery, surgery ke recovery period is a number. Hota hai. And it is a convenience for elderly patients. Now, if we look at the treatment outcome, we did the surgery, Dr. House was impressed. And the SRS was performed uh, successfully, leading to reduced lesion size, improved neurological symptoms, and it maintained the quality of life of the patient. So you did a very good job over there. Now I will like Aram to move to the next slide. And I would like Aram to continue from here.
Aram, you are actually mute right now. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Am you are audible? Thank you so much, Aris. Uh, so, so my name is Aram. Uh, so. RS has, has explained you all about the SRS and WBRT and the different treatments of the cancer uh, of the brain uh, metastatic brain lesions and different lesions and the discoveries. So let's discuss about who is the person behind all this discovery. So this is uh, Dr. Larks Lexchel, and he is a Swedish neurosurgeon. And uh, his contribution towards the cancer is he basically revolutionized uh, the cancer treatment with this SRS. So basically, this is person you are seeing right now is the one who is given us the SRS. And uh, also, uh, after okay, is my video not on? Just a minute. Okay, is it fine, Aris? Uh, we cannot see your video, but we can hear you properly. Okay, 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 yes. Okay, okay uh, so, <clears throat> sorry for that. So then uh, his contribution uh, is then taken in 1940s. And then uh, after that, uh, this non-invasive process is uh, connected with the Gamma Knives debut in uh, around 1968. So this era uh, uses the Gamma Knife radiations or... Uh, Kabagama knife radiations and uh, what actually he does, uh, we will discuss in the next slide. So uh, this is the history of uh, SRS and the SRS is basically uh, introduced in the uh, this institute of Karolinska and the uh, and the prototype was then we are using the gamma knife with cobalt cysts. So this was first introduced in 1968 this first debut and then after that uh, they started experimenting on different tumors small tumors in around the 1970s and 1980s and then this was um, further indicated and further uh, more met brain metastatic tumors are being treated in the 1990s so there might be some things uh, some complications after that uh, after that, we realized uh, after that, if the, some, uh, some modifications has been made, so we'll uh, talk about that. So first of all, why we are using the COBOL-60 for this? So the advantages of using COBOL-60 is first of all, it has a very high energy gamma radiations. So RS has explained that in SRS, uh, if we compare the WBRT to the SRS, WBRT is basically using uh, a diffuse SRS is using a diffuse uh, radiations uh, on all the brain, but uh, the uh, oh, sorry, the, the WPRT is using a diffuse radiation all over the brain. But if you talk about the uh, if you talk about the SRS, it's using a high beam radiations only on that specific part. So we should use a very high radiation gamma wave. That's why we are used using the cobalt sixty for that, and then. Uh, the uh, about uh, for for its half life, it has a very uh, longer half life. So cobalt six uh, is uh, approximately around five years. It has a high half life, so it will ensure a stable and continuous supply of radiation over an extended period. And then uh, we have the predictable decay. So cobalt six uh, undergoes predictable reductive decay, so leading to the emission of gamma rays at the constant rate. This predictability is essential for uh, accurate dose. So that's why it's it's predicted so that we can adjust the doses because of it. Then we have the uniform radiation distribution. So gamma rays produces uh, a uniform distribution of radiation uh, uh, from around the source, resulting in more consistent and conformal uh, like rays, which will uh, give a high impact. And then we have, we have a compact design of it. Compact design means that um, the radiation source in cobalt-60 uh, can be compactly housed, and uh, it is more uh, it, it can be it is more successful for use in such devices. Like uh, we will see the devices, the gamma knife. I will show the video. Uh, then we have the proven effectiveness. So cobalt-60 cobalt-60 have been proved to be uh, a very successful in in the radiation for the several decades. Uh, that's why. Uh, and then the last one, the most important is cost effect. As you know, this radiation is a very costly procedure. So 
uh, if you compare all the other uh, sources of radiation, the cobalt 60 is much cheaper. Okay. Then, uh, what are the initial complications? So, when we have a new procedure, we have experiments, hote hai, so we come across many complications. Right. So there are a few complications which are come across the scientists, uh, the, uh, the doctors, the oncologists uh, when they are discovering this SRS. The first one is the radiation induced edema. So as you can see in the picture too, uh, a, a swelling of the surrounding brain. They are swelling around the swelling brain due to the radiation and it can cause uh, to some extent they don't temporary uh, neurological symptoms. So, do, so we do not want these temporary neurological symptoms. Uh, then we have the necrosis. So the formation of the dead tissues due to the radiation, as you know, that radiation can harm the tissues too. So it can cause necrosis. Uh, then we have the cognitive decline. So early SRS techniques, uh, when it was first used, it can cause a It was fixed uh, later, but at the very early stage, uh, there was one complication about the cognitive decline too. And then the cognitive, uh, then the optic nerve nursery. So as the, we are treating the brain, uh, the optic nerves is so close uh, to each uh, to it. So radiation tumor can uh, can hit the optic nerve and calls also cause the visual problems. Uh, then then comes the skin reactions. So superficial uh, skin uh, skin changes. Also radiation is impact as you can agar buccal cancer bhi hota hai, so if the if it, it is treated with the radiation, so it can cause blackening of the skin. So Due to the exposure of the skin, it can cause skin reaction. It can cause blackening over the scalp and the uh, uh, and around the forehead. So these are few complications in the initial stage. So over the time, these all are fixed. How they, uh, they are fixed? So first is the advanced treatment planning. So this is the first thing that uh, the doctors write that they precise the image uh, and uh, 3D uh, 3D treatment plans have been uh, made first. So they they basically uh, 3D image a patient ka, aur uske baad jo hai, usko plan de, uh, bana ke, uh, where is the tumor is located and where are the healthy tissues. Now we'll see that in the video too. So by doing this, they are basically minimizing the effect. Then is the uh, thing which is called the fractionation. What is fractionation? It's basically uh, if we are giving a whole dose at once, it's more dangerous. But if we are doing, giving the whole dose in chunks, like giving the, uh, if, if the dose is 30, if the dose is 30 units, we are giving in 10, 10 units or five, five units. So it, it makes it makes fractions of it. So giving in fractions is less harmful. Then we have the cognitive sparring techniques. So some techniques have been developed in the modern SRS, which allow the sparring of the healthy tissues. So. Uh, healthy tissues ko bacha ke uh, hum log is tarah is tarah se treatment kiya jata hai ki healthy tissues ko kuch na ho aur jo tumor ki location hai sirf usi ke upar jo hai impact hai then we have the optic nerve sparring so in the advanced ismi this is also made because of the planning and all uh, optic nerves also have been sparred because of this and then it can spar so basically uh, at, 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 with the advances srs techniques these problems are being solved then the radiological insight is enhanced there is an enhanced understanding of the radiology and the tissue responses uh, which help in optimizing the dose delivery okay. and then the follow-ups the follow-ups have been made the regular follow-ups have, um, have been made and monitoring uh, for early detection and management of any any other potential uh, complications so these all are basically ensuring uh, a better outcome of the patient. So let's discuss about uh, uh, metastatic brain tumor. So about the prevalence. Uh, so if we discuss about the prevalence is uh, basically uh, if someone is having a uh, cancer, uh, so he is uh, around 40% susceptible. This will be uh, it's, uh, in the video too. It is 40, he is 40 first of us, uh, like for example, if a person is having a cancer at any other site, uh, any lung cancer, and you can see there is a lung cancer here. But uh, if if this cancer remain after uh, to to a, a very prolonged time, it may metastasize and goes towards the brain and cause me brain metastasis lesions. So around 9 to 17% of the all the neoplasm, uh, intracranial neoplasm, we can say, uh, this uh, metastatic brain tumor makes the ratio. 
then we have the multi facet approach uh, the current treatment guidelines we are following uh, involve the all the treatment approach which are having the uh, wprts uh, so <laughs> we discussed because every treatment has its indication and contraindication, there are a few treatments in which we can use the WBRT too. If there, uh, the lesion is more than uh, three uh, three centimeter, if if it is it is more it, 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 if it is a bigger lesion, we cannot. Or if it is a diffuse lesion, there are many tumors, so we cannot use SRS for that. So we use WBRT in such conditions too. So we see uh, we see the only thing we see that we have WBRT. We have to use it when we have to use it and when we but initially wbrt was the uh, was a golden standard but after seeing that adverse effect uh, rs has explained that they have some neurocognitive declines so after that uh, wbrt is considered to not to be a gold standard so after the invention of the srs so benefits of srs <clears throat> as rs also explained that srs basically uh, if we talk about the percentage it's basically a it achieves about 80 to 90 percent success rate of, uh, after the golden uh, uh, treatment of WBRT. Then, gamma knife. <clears throat> Gamma knife SRS. What is gamma knife? Gamma knife SRS, which are also present in uh, uh, Pakistan too. I will discuss that. Uh, so, gamma knife SRS is also. <coughs> been initiated which is suitable for if the lesion is so deep or if the if the candidate or the patient is having a poor uh, surgical uh, if he is not like if his age is too uh, he, if he is too old so then in that case srs is being indicated or gamma knife srs comparable survival uh, with minimized neuro concrete. So gamma knife SRS, it, it offers the median uh, overall survival as WBRT uh, can cause the neuro cognitive decline. So in compare, if we look at it, we have the SRS, it's going to decline and it's not going to decline. Then the minimizing the injury. SRS is basically putting a high beam at a single point rather than in WBRT putting a lot of uh, raises and radiations over the long all the surface of the brain so it's more uh, concisely we are targeted then improve quality of life in the outpatient department gamma knife uh, is well tolerated outpatient care so the patient for comes to the follow-up in the opds usually then the combination therapy potential with the SRS. So SRS combined with some chemotherapy. Why chemotherapy doesn't work? Uh, we cannot give because uh, the this is a brain lesion, right? So in the brain lesion, you know that brain has the blood brain barrier. So if blood brain barrier is there, the chemo, the drugs do not uh, cannot cross the blood brain barrier, or it if it can, can cross, it can uh, the whole dose cannot be transferred. So since we are treating cancer, so only chemotherapy is not necessary. So combined effect of the uh, combination of this SRS along with the chemotherapy is, is used here. Then comes the resection and the WBRT. Uh, if we see both the thing, if we are, uh, if, if there is the SRS contraindicated, or if the tumor is too large or too diffuse and there are many tumors in the brain then then in that we go towards the second thing which is the wbrt and the uh, surgical treatment so in that <clears throat> surgical treatment is more preferred in that area not the wbrt alone so uh, or if, if 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 it is needed then both surgery and wbrt is combined uh, so that uh, it can can cause less harm and uh, all the tumor uh, will be uh, removed then the last one is evolving the modalities for the metastatic lesion so with options like gamma knife and wbrt and surgery there are uh, no longer always a primary treatment for metastatic disease uh, but they are still utilized when necessary so there is no indication uh, proper indication we are using it uh, so because cancer is the most, uh, uh, it, is, it is a risk. So, if we talk risk, it is a risk. cancer is a very risk. So, if we see these defects, we are seeing, we are saving a person's life. So, that's more important. So, let's see how SRS actually works. I will be showing a video. Aris, uh, confirm me if uh, the video is pausing. Any, anything has happened, just let me know. Sure. Okay. Thank you. 
in this in this video you can easily see okay i think i can play it like this okay so here it is written that 40 percent of uh, the patient of the cancer is least li uh, likely to develop the metastatic brain lesion uh, Aham, have we actually started the video because we cannot see it okay 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 just a minute i'm sharing it again just a minute Aris, let me know if you can see the screen now. Yes, yeah, sir. The screen is visible now. Okay, let's start. So, here it is written that the cancer patients are living longer. Uh, those who are living longer has 40% chance of developing the brain metastatic lesions. So, you can see the brain lesions and uh, through the radiation is being cured. So, this is the machine you are seeing here. And you can see the mask, which RS has explained already why the mask has been uh, put it on the patients to stable. And okay, this is known as a leg cell because he is the founder, he's a discoverer. And these are the radiations are being transferred. This is the whole machine. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, this is the difference between the WBRT giving the, all the raises on the brain. Whereas uh, on the other hand, you can see the SRS and SRS is giving the strong being at only to those places. Okay. So there are a few terms like PTV. PTV is planning targeted volume and the GTV is basically gross tumor. So these are being planned before and we should be uh, seeing that the whole tumor, the humor ka, pura tumor ka size on a gross size on a planning ke ho. So PTV should be equal to GTV for that. Minimizing the charge of radiation necrosis, I already explained, is sparring the healthy tissue. These are for a few advantages. And this is the machine as you So after the discovery, uh, many patients have been cured and with less side effects. It's a, uh, having a rapid uh, response same day workflow uh, it has done in the same way without any pain this is the most uh, it is a non-invasive injury without any pain it's happened planning has been made as you can see the doctors are planning that the, about the gross size and the tumor size uh, all the things <laughs> annually many patients has been treated because of this with least side effects Okay, zero harm is also so i think uh there's too much detail here but uh, we have to okay okay now so i will ask rs to continue from here all right thank you Arham. all right we have a question from as what is gtv all right gtv is the gross tumor volume okay tumor ka size kitna zyada hai we are going to share a different pictures and the other was PTV, that is plan tumor volume. We are going to discuss this later on. This picture will come and I'll try to explain it better. If you don't understand, then you can message again. All right. Aram, can you move to the next slide? All right. Thank you. All right. Aram was discussing the metastatic brain tumor. All right. One thing is that you know, review karwa de ki what is metastasis? Metastasis is ke ek jaga tumor hua, for example, lungs ke andar tumor hua, wo aage ja ke kahin aur travel kar gaya. Jab wo kahin aur travel kar jata tha, usko kehte hain that is metastasized. Aram was sharing a picture, uske andar ye tha ke lung ke andar cancer tha, wo travel karke brain mein chala gaya. And that is why it is called metastas uh, metastasized brain tumor. Baaki SRS is was very helpful over there, as you see, as you saw in the video as well. Baaki SRS is also used in other tumors as well. Brain ke bhi hai jagon pe hota hai. For example, in astrocytoma, it is a CNS related tumor, acoustic or trigeminal schwannomas, it is a nerve related tumor. Then there are trigeminal neuralgia, glossopharyngeal neuralgia, trigeminal glossopharyngeal are cranial nerves, 
there is also a CNS related tumor. Then there can be some vascular tumors such as uh, atrial venous fistula or atrial venous malformation. It's kind of ke arteries or venous can have malformation, koi masla ho gaya. Fistula is then abnormal connection. Ke arteries or venous can have abnormal connection. Ho gaya. We can use SRS to destroy that abnormal connection. Then there are meningiomas. Meningiomas are also a tumor of the dura mater. It is a tumor of the, let's say, how do I explain this? It, the brain actually has a covering. Meningiomas are the tumors of dead covering. Then there are metastasis. Metastasis is the tumor ka yon tha, ke 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 yon chala gaya. Then is the melanoma. Melanoma is the tumor of the skin, breast, lung, renal, renal is kidney, colon, and other tumors. And there are some cellular lesions like pituitary adenomas. Pituitary adenomas are pituitary gland tumors. Pituitary gland is present at the posterior inferior side of the brain. And this table ke aage sample size 5201. This St. Louis Washington University can perform. Kiya gaye the. Like ke, sip, ek institute, mein 5201 patients got treated for this. The quality of life improved. So you can imagine that how ma so many institutes are present all around the world and what they are doing to improve the quality of life in cancer uh, in patients who have cancer. All right. Uh, well, I would like to I would like to ask them to move to the next slide. Thank you, Arham. All right. Let's discuss the management of meningiomas. We are going to discuss three tumors in more detail because research article may be in ki kafi detail thi. All right. I will, before I move into this, I would like to discuss something that AS was asking before. Okay, you can see here the red highlighted part in the image. That is the GTV. GTV is this gross tumor volume. Yes, there is the cursor over there as well. That is GTV, that is gross uh, tumor volume. Then there's a yellow highlighted part. That is PTV, planned tumor volume. Okay, plan kiya gaya ki yahan pe zyada radiation di jayenge. And then there's a blue part. Blue part is also a radiation part, but in less power. Usually, you are that 50 GY. GY is a unit for uh, this radio radiology term. So, yellow wala, uh, highlight part usually 50 GY hota and the blue part is usually 30 GY. So, that is how it is treated. Here, we are telling the example of uh, melanoma is the covering of the brain. Uh, the covering of the brain and its tumor. That is called meningiomas, not melanomas. Then, this is showing a meningioma. All right, so meningiomas are so common that 25% of the intracranial neoplasm, like all intracranial means that cranium, cranium is the skull, the brain box. Unkin the jitnebi tumors hai, around 25%. 25% is around one fourth of those tumors. It's a very huge number. US can the 25% intracranial tumors are usually meningiomas. Meningiomas are usually benign tumors. All right, so who are not aware of this method explain karda, benign or malignant tumors can the third year mein hai jata in the chapter neoplasms. Uh, benign tumors are usually non cancerous and malignant tumors are cancerous. Benign tumors usually don't spread like that, malignant tumors do. So meningiomas are usually benign tumors, they don't spread like crazy, but they are there and they are occupying the space. And since they're occupying the space, they are disrupting the functions of the brain. So usually they are removed. So in the grades, WHO has done grade 1, 2, and 3. All right, grades, I'm going to tell you that grades are depend upon the differentiation of the original cell. For example, like squamous cell, it's usually a square shape. That the tumor is the same original cell. The same as 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 Wo apna original cell se bahut match kar raha hoga. Grade 2 usse thara different ho raha Grade 3 usse aur zada different ho raha Jitni zada differentiation barte jati hai. Yine jitna zada difference aata jata na, cancer utna zada khatanak hota rata hai. So WHO has divided it into three grades. Grade 1 and 2 are mostly common. Like 97% of meningiomas are either grade 1 or grade 2. Only 3% goes towards grade 3. Like if we talk about the symptoms because it is pressing the brain, so brain related symptoms are it can cause pain around the brain. 
like headaches it can cause seizures it can cause weakness at some part of the brain humne jo case discuss kiya tha uske andar ye tha ki jo motor area tha brain ka wahan pe cancer press kar raha tha jo press kar raha tha to motor jo motor function tha patient ka wo disturb ho raha tha wo writing ke andar and uh, utensils ko utilize karne ke andar he was having some problems is la they can cause some cranial nerve dysfunction as well ho sakta hai cranial nerve they are महीने बाद जो है बहुत ज्यादा बड़ा बन जाएगा तो वी एक्चुअली सर्वेलेंस इट की हम लोग पहले चेक करते हैं कि ट्यूमर एक्ट कैसा कर रहा है मूव क्या मूव तो नहीं कहेंगे कि एक्ट कैसा कर रहा है क्या ट्यूमर बढ़ रहा है ट्यूमर कोई मसला मसाल तो नहीं कर रहा लाइक सिम्टम से प्रेजेंट नहीं कर रहा अगर बहुत ज्यादा सिम्टम्स प्रेजेंट कर रहा है एंड इट इज अफेक्टिंग द डेली लाइफ ऑफ द पेशेंट और इट इज गेटिंग बिग और इट इज अ बिग ट्यूमर सो वी यूजली डू ट्रीटमेंट बट वी डू वी डू सर्जरी और एस आर एस वी डू सर्जरी यूजली फॉर ह्यूज ट्यूमर्स और ट्यूमर्स दैट आर स्प्रेड ऑल अक्रॉस द ब्रेन या ब्रेन के थोड़ा ऊपर की तरफ हो दैट सर्जरी के दौरान आराम से उसको रिसेक्ट किया जा सके और वी कैन डू एस आर एस लाइक वी डिस्कस इट इज अन इन्वेसिव प्रोसेस हम रेडिएशन की हाई पावर बीम्स बीम्स उस पर देखकर उसको डिस्ट्रॉय कर देते हैं और वी कैन यूज ऑल्सो यूज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ द ट्रीटमेंट यूजली दॉलोजिस्ट वो डिस्कस द ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन विद द पेशेंट के ये ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन आपके कैंसर के मुताबिक ज्यादा बेहतर है और लाइक आई विल लाइक अगर हम टू मूव नेक्स्ट स्लाइड थैंक यू अरहम सो वट आर द एडवांटेजेस फॉर एस आर एस फॉर एन एक्सेबल मैन एन जी ओम और एंड मैनेजमेंट से एक ये मसला भी हो सकता है दे कैन बी एट अ पार्ट के वहाँ पे सर्जरी के जरिए एक्सेस करना मुश्किल हो तो दैट इज़ द बेस्ट ऑप्शन फॉर एस आर एस क्यों क्योंकि एस आर एस में सर्जरी तो करनी नहीं है तो लोग डायरेक्ट उसके अंदर हाई पावर बीम्स के जरिए उसको ट्रीट किया जा सकता है दैन दे आर उसके अलावा लास्ट इन ऑपरेबल मैनेजमास के लिए एक्सलेंट लॉन्ग टर्म टू में कंट्रोल एस आर एस प्रोवाइड करता है एंड लाइक यू डिस्कस बिफोर it preserve the function the cognitive function as compared to the aggressive surgical resections and it is a relatively safer treatment process now i would like aram to move to the next slide thank you aram all right this is another tumor that is pituitary adenoma pituitary adenoma is the cancer of the pituitary gland we are actually seeing this again jo main pehle explain kar raha tha but it is let's say a more complex diagram for it ये रेड वाला पी टी वी एंड येलो वाला जी टी वी दैन इसके अलावा थोड़ा और हिस्सा जिसमें मोर लेस लेस पावर ऑफ रेडिएशन इज गिवेन और आर ऑल्सो वेरी कॉमन कैंसर इन द इंटरक्रेनियल नियोप्लाजम इट इज अ प्रिवेलेंस ऑफ टेन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट इट कैन कॉज सिक्योरिटी और नॉन फंक्शन माइक्रोडिनोमास और माइक्रोडिनोमास पिचुटरी ग्लैंड का एक ये फंक्शन भी है इट सिक्योर सम हारमोन्स सो अगर वहाँ पर कोई कैंसर होता है इट कैन कॉज सम हार्मोनल इम्बेलेंस एज वेल और इट मे नॉट इट डिपेंड्स के पिचुट्री एडिनोमा किस कौन से सेल में हुआ है पिचुट्री ग्लैंड के अंदर कौन से सेल में हुआ है दैन बट ट्रीटमेंट वी डू वी ऑब्जर्व ऑब्जर्वेशन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट के ऑब्जर्व हाउ द ट्यूमर इज बिहेविंग इज इट स्प्रेडिंग इज इट डिस्ट्रप्टिंग एनी फंक्शनल केपेबिलिटीज ऑफ द पेशेंट then we can use the medical therapies endoscopic resection surgical resection and srs or that we have discussed surgical resection and srs before endoscopic resection kya hai endoscopic is a minimally invasive process isme hum log karte kya hai we go through the nose hum nose ke zariye ja ke pituitary adenoma ko access karte hain pituitary gland is in a position ki agar hum log nose ke zariye jaye to wahan tak pahunch sakte hain aaram se uske zariye anatomy dekhni padegi taaki behtar tarike se samajh aa jaye wo then usually outcome kya hota hai ki iske outcome mein high tumor control rates in non functional adenomas and slow response in secretory adenomas means ke jo tumor ko kafi had tak regress kar dete hain non functional adenomas that is jo hormonal imbalance nahi karwa rahe hote hain and secretory adenomas jo hormonal imbalance karwate hain unke andar slower uh, slower response kar dete hain now we'll like him to move to the next slide Thank you, Aram. Uh, so 
now we are going to discuss about vestibular schwannomas schwannomas are usually on cranial nerves vestibular is a part of the cranial nerve eight vestibular cochlear nerve mass is the vestibular part ka schwannomas mein discuss kar rahe hain ye bhi bahut common hota hai around 10% iske ilawa bhi aur bhi cranial nerve ho sakte hain cranial nerve 5 7 and 12 5 is trigeminal nerve 7 is facial nerve and uh, 12 is hypoglossal nerve but usme kafi rare hote hain लेकिन वेस्टिबुलर शोनोमास आर वेरी कॉमन अराउंड टेन परसेंट ऑफ दराउंड टेन परसेंट इंटरक्रीनल न्योप्लाजम्स आर यूजली वेस्टिबुलर शोनोमास तो शोनोमास क्या होते हैं दे अराइज फ्रॉम द शोन सेल्स अलॉन्ग द्रीनियल नर्व शोन सेल्स क्या होते हैं दे आर सपोर्टिंग सेल्स अराउंड द क्रीनियल नर्व तो ये उनका कैंसर होता है सो वट ट्रीटमेंट डू वी डू वी यूजली कैन डू माइक्रोसर्जिकल रिसेक्शन बट इट हैज हाई मॉर्बिडिटी बट वी कैन डू अ कॉम्बिनेशन थेरेपी कि हम लोग पार्शल सर्जिकल रिसेक्शन कर लें और एस आर एस कर लें फॉर एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज दी शॉन सेल्स और जो शॉनोमस होते हैं दे इन गर्ल्स इसमें पूरा सराउंड किया होता है क्रीनियल नर्व को तो अगर उसको हम लोग सर्जरी के जरिए करें तो उसमें ज्यादा चांस होता है कि वी माइक डैमेज दिन नर्व मॉबिलिटी का मतलब होता है काइंड ऑफ द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ द पेशेंट तो इट कैन डिस्टर्ब द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ द पेशेंट जब लोग कैंसर निकालने निकालते नर्व डैमेज हो गई जिसकी वजह से पेशेंट की क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ डिस्टर्ब हो गई सो दे इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन थेरेपी एज वेल कि हम लोग इसमें क्या करते हैं कि जो नर्व से दूर वाला हिस्सा होता है उसमें पार्शल सर्जिकल रिसेक्शन कर देते हैं और जो नर्व के करीब होता है हम लोग उसके लिए बहुत प्रिसाइज एस आर एस यूज कर लेते हैं चीरोटेटिक रेडियो सर्जरी एंड इफ यू एफ कैसे क्या है कि इट कैन हेल्प इन इम्प्रूव सिग्निफिकेंट ट्यूमर कंट्रोल एंड फेशियल नर्व प्रिजर्वेशन Uh, वैसे वेस्टिबुलर कॉकलियर नर्व जो है वो फेशियल नर्व के साथ कह सकते हैं कोइंसाइड करती है तो यूजुअली फेशियल नर्व भी डिस्टर्ब हो सकती है तो हम इसके अंदर हम लोग क्या कह रहे हैं कि हम लोग वो नॉर्मल क्रीनियल नर्व को भी बचा रहे हैं और उसके आसपास ही क्रीनियल नर्व भी बचा रहे हैं एंड आई हैव सम क्वेश्चन ट्रांसफिनोइडल नेजल अप्रोच यस मे वी कैन से दैट दैट वी आर यूजिंग ट्रांसफिनोइडल नेजल अप्रोच टू अप्रोच द और एडमलिया एज अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन कि अगर हम लोग एस आर एस दे रहे हैं तो हम लोग ट्यूमर के बाहर वाले हिस्से में क्यों एस आर एस दे रहे हैं क्योंकि वो तो भाई हेल्थी टिश्यू से किल कर सकता है जैसे वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन मलिया तो कोई भी ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन बिल्कुल परफेक्ट नहीं होता एंड कैंसर ऐसा होता है कि इट कैन डिफ्यूज जैसे हो सकता है कुछ सेल्स जो ना जो मेन ट्यूमर है उससे थोड़े आसपास दूर हो सो टू मेक श्योर के ज्यादातर कैंसर सेल्स किल हो जाए तो हम उसका छोटा सा एरिया जो है ना ट्यूमर के आसपास भी हम लोग उस पर भी रेडिएशन देते हैं बट इन लो क्वालिटी लो लो क्वालिटी नहीं मतलब इन लो पावर लो पावर क्यों सो वी डोंट किल मैनी ऑफ दी सेल्स डेट इज वन ऑफ द मेन रीजन वी इंक्रीज द रेडिएशन डायमीटर फॉर ट्रीटिंग दिस कैंसर Now I would like Aram to move to the next slide. All right. अभी तक तो S R S लग रहा है कि wow S R S इतनी अच्छी ट्रीट इतना अच्छा ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन है तो हमेशा यूज़ करना चाहिए. So no, as I said before, Malia के जवाब में कि no treatment is perfect. So there are some conditions in which S R S is not recommended when when there's a large tumor size. ये रेडिएशन थेरेपी ना हम लोग बहुत ज्यादा रेडिएशन थेरेपी नहीं दे सकते बिकॉज अगर बहुत ज्यादा रेडिएशन दी एक लास्ट ट्यूमर साइज को करने के लिए तो रेडिएशन पॉइजनिंग है उसकी अलग कॉम्प्लिकेशन आ सकती है लाइक अगर हम बहुत डिस्कसिंग बिफोर सो यूजली लास्ट ट्यूमर साइज के लिए हम लोग एस आर एस यूज नहीं करते फैन दे मल्टीपल लीजन जब बहुत सारे लीजन हो उसमें भी एस आर एस यूज नहीं किया जा सकता वी यूजली यूज डब्ल्यू बी इन दैट कंडीशन और एन अदर ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन बिकॉज अगर फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर ब्रेन के अंदर हंड्रेड लीजन है लाइक टू हंड्रेड लीजन है सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू पिक वन बाय वन के चलो बिस्को करते हैं बिस्को करते हैं बिस्को करते हैं उससे भी बहुत दफ़ा रेडिएशन हमें देनी पड़ेगी एंड इट कैन कॉज साइड इफेक्ट्स के बहुत ज़्यादा रेडिएशन पेशेंट पर चली गई रेडिएशन पॉइजनिंग एंड उसके अलग कॉम्प्लिकेशन आ जाती हैं वैन दे इज अ वेरी डिफ्यूज ब्रेन मेटेस्टिस डिफ्यूज ब्रेन मेटेस्टिस से मुराद के जब बहुत ज़्यादा डिफ्यूज हो हम लोग यूजली एम आर आई या सी टी स्कैन से अंदाजा लगा लेते हैं कि ब्रेन कैंसर डिफ्यूज है या नहीं तो यूजली जब बहुत ज्यादा डिफ्यूज होना ब्रेन में टेस्ट सिस्टम हम लोग इसके अंदर नहीं करते हम देन वी गो टूअर्स डिफरेंट ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शंस 
या उसके अलावा कोई प्री एक्सिस्टिंग रेडिएशन थेरेपी ट्रीटमेंट चल रही हो कि उसको पहले से कोई रेडियोलॉजी ट्रीटमेंट चल रही हो फॉर एग्जांपल हम डब्ल्यू बी आर टी डिस्कस किया है उसके अलावा भी और कुछ रेडियो थेरेपीज यूज होती हैं कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट के लिए हम लोग उसमें भी यूज नहीं करते जैसे पहले से बहुत ज्यादा रेडिएशन ट्रीटमेंट चल रही है क्यों वही मेन वजह है कि बहुत ज्यादा रेडिएशन ना बढ़ जाए जैसे रेडिएशन सिकने से रेडिएशन पॉइजनिंग ना हो जाए पेशेंट को तो उसमें भी ऐसा हम लोग यूज नहीं करते या जिसके अंदर बहुत लो कार्ड ऑफ की परफॉर्मेंस स्टेटस हो के पी एस जो हमने पहले डिस्कस किया था कि सिक्सटी का आ रहा है फिफ्टी का आ रहा है कि उसके ब्रेन फॉर एग्जाम्पल ब्रेन फंक्शन इतना ज्यादा इम्पेयर हो गया है कि वो अपने नॉर्मल काम भी खुद नहीं कर पा रहा सो यूजली एस आर एस इज नॉट यूज इन दोज केसेस एंड दिस इज ऑल फ्रॉम मी आई वुड लाइक अर हम टू कंटिन्यू ओके थैंक यू सो मच आर एस ओके सो अभी तक हमने जितनी भी पूरी रिसर्च का था हमने सब डिस्कस कर लिया है वी डिस्कस अबाउट द एस आर एस वी डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ इट इज डिस्कवर्ड हु इज द वन हु डिस्कवर्स दिस प्रोसेस क्या क्या इंडिकेशन हैं क्या क्या इनिशियल कॉम्प्लिकेशन थी वो कैसे मॉडिफाई हुए एंड लास्टली देन बहुत सारे हमने देखा कि ब्रेन मेटास्टेटिक लीजेंस में भी हम उसको यूज़ कर रहे हैं देन वी सॉ दैट पिचट्री एडिनोमाज एंड डिफरेंट जगह हम लोग उसको यूज़ कर रहे हैं then we also discuss about the contraindications so after discussing all that let's come towards uh, is it happening in our country uh hamari country jo hai wo kisi bhi lihaz se piche nahi hai is cheez mein and about cancer there are around 10 institute which are uh, now uh, like uh, which are considering srs as a treatment of or unme se bahut sare institute aapne naam bhi suna hoga uh Uh, these are the hospitals, uh, Aga Khan Hospital, the JPMC Jinnah Post Graduate Medical. Is me bhi, ठीक है. इसके अलावा Kiran Hospital है. Kiran Hospital, uh, like it's the Karachi Institute of Radiotherapy and uh, Nuclear Nuclear Medicine. This is also, uh, and then the Dao or oh, University Oja Campus and the NCCI, which is the uh, Neuro Spinal and the Cancer Care Institute. Uh, apart from these five. these are uh, these are all from karachi right apart from these five there are five more hospitals which are uh, all on the pakistan uh, first is in the lahore and peshawar there are shaukat khanam uh, medical memorial cancer hospitals and then we have the indus hospital to indus hospital in karachi i didn't add this here but indus hospital is also working on it and then the pims uh, pims is basically a hospital in islamabad and it's, uh, it's basically pakistan institute of medical sciences and in lahore there is one more it's the lahore general hospital uh, which is uh, working on it and uh, they are treating the patients with this and and one more left is the <clears throat> liaquat national hospital liaquat national uh, is also having the, all the machines and they are treating the patients and uh, <clears throat> also uh, in this page in this youtube channel you can also see the uh, video of the dao oja campus there is a whole survey dr mohsen uh, ne pura jo hai wo cover kiya usme aur jo hai usme <clears throat> pura jo hai uh, uska tour karaya is ka to you can also watch this too so they are working on it and according to them a lot of patients have been treated after the existence of this sr treatment in pakistan so Pakistan is using uh, this SRS treatment, and uh, a lot of patients has been cured. <clears throat> Now concluding, so we have discussed all about it. So SRS has emerged to be a game changer. For so you can say that it's a game changer in the neuro oncology, and uh, it present a very powerful and a versatile tool in in the brain cancer, mostly in the brain cancer, because there are very many morbidities and mortalities in the recent years. in pakistan but after the after the emergence of and development uh, of this srs machines and srs treatment a uh, lot of morbidity uh, morbidity has been reduced and uh, there are some side effects too there are some contraindications but uh, hopefully these contraindications will also be fixed and some more modified uh, treatment will become uh, which is with less least side effects and can cure the patient of cancer because uh, this is a very big issue in pakistan and all over the uh, all over the world so i think uh, there might be some modifications too in the recent year uh, in the in the in the next coming years and we will see uh, cancer free streets inshallah
so that's all from our side so thank you so much everyone for joining us so if you have any question you may ask now and if you don't have any questions we would love to hear your reviews ke aaj ka session aap logo ko kaisa laga tha okay uh, there is one question that uh, in this uh, i i believe that uh, in this third world states uh, this option is uh, not it not it is not for the financially uh, uh, those people who don't afford it and many people in pakistan are here but uh, as i have told you there is kiran hospital right so kiran hospital is a government hospital uh, which is doing this all for free and also there is one shaukat khanam so it is uh, it is also working and doing this treatment for free so there are few institution which are doing their trust which are doing and providing so trust ke bare mein to khair pakistan bahut zyada hi mashhoor hai there are many trusts which are working and uh, giving the financial aids to the patients so i think is mamle mein we are so lucky and the people are so lucky that even the uh, even all all those situation but we have some good people in our country to uh, which are happily uh, helping the peoples anyone else thank you so much for all your reviews Yes, sure, 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 we will. Uh, let me. This is our reference article. I forgot to share. This is the reference article, uh, <coughs> from which we have taken all the data and provided you. So, shall we end this, Aris? What do you say? Sure, Aram. I believe we should end this. Thank you, everyone, for all your positive comments. It was really motivating for us to keep working hard. So I believe this is all from our side. And thank you very much for joining the session. And yes, we can end the session now.